<laughs> Sorry, I'm just a big, go, big dumb kid. I like to laugh at myself from time to time. Sorry, you guys missed the real big snow. I just got this idea after. It's pretty, uh, pretty awesome to watch. Honestly, I'll have to admit. I'm just a big dumb kid. Heck, no sad. Tell you what, sure beats sitting out in the cold doing this crap on a little tractor or a you know, skid steer or whatever else. This is nice and warm. The only thing, and I will admit this, I could sure use a little bit more ground clearance. Clearance. <laughs> Took some videos earlier when I was got stuck. Like I say, the worst part about this old girl is the ground clearance issues. But I was having fun today too. I got three out of my five vehicles stuck, so. <laughs> the name, you know, like you got that guy with the vice grip garage, which is funnier than that. And I'm trying to think of myself, something to come up with, something original or something like that. I don't know, anybody got some ideas what kind of a name I could come up with, I'll plagiarize somebody else, or I should say copyright. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. I need another beer though. Ooh, snow. Knuckleheads. That's how I call myself, just knucklehead. Can't say him, Brad. Too many people get the wrong idea. I think it's a baking show. <laughs> God, I'm an idiot. You guys at work always tell me they think they should have a GoPro on me so I can, they can record my stupidity all day. Well, here you go. Here you go, guys.
I just had an epiphany, guys. It's no budget garage. Or low budget garage. I can't tell her, Eddie. <laughs> Everything I got is pretty much low budget. Ain't worth squat. I shouldn't say it ever. To this day, when I hear that song, I see you standing there on that lawn. Just got to be snowball tank. Lip gloss and put off the end. You also might be wondering, what in the Frankfurter am I doing? You looked at me and I was done. Just getting stuck. Well, just making it snow enough because I like to park my jalopies in here. This is going to be a fun one here. They're going uphill against this drifted in snow. Poof. truck and a beat plow probably would be freaking just unbelievably sexy. But we get her done. Listen to something more upbeat. I don't know if I can find any stations. Well, golly gee, Willikers. Let's turn off. Hey, you guys ever wondered about that old nursery rhyme we were told as kids, three men in a tub? Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub. 
as an adult, I've got so many questions. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I could be. And you're listening to Deep Thoughts with a mindless person. Push that by. See the autopiler? That's where my striving for. Because God knows it's fucking not even the beginning of the year. And just we've been shit piled on with snow already, so. And you may be wondering why I'm doing this. Well, I'm trying to be a nice guy for the fuel delivery guy here, so you can see. Been in his shoes before, and you know, if someone's gonna be nice and clear out a path, I'll be nice to them. You never know, maybe he gives me an extra gallon of fuel. Shh, don't tell anybody that I said that. He probably won't. I just, you know. Just talking out my exhaust pipe. If you're a car guy, you probably know what I'm talking about. Even if you ain't a car guy, that's pretty self-explanatory, I would think. Boy, I sure hope I didn't put another dent in this truck. <laughs> oh, El Wapo almost got the tree. In case you're wondering who El Wapo is you now, that's uh, my name when I did the old, uh, uh, I forget what the hell that's called, Luchador Wrestling, Mexican Luchador Wrestling. <laughs> I'm just talking. There you go, I'm talking like, as my old man would say, talking like I got a paper butthole. Still don't understand what the hell that really means. Why would you have a paper bubble? It just makes no sense. It's kind of like wiping before you poop. That don't make sense either. But my son was kind of a genius in his own right. He told me every time you do wipe before you poop. Because technically, you wipe after you poop, so you're pre wiped for the next one. So you technically kind of wipe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. It's a reach, but I'll give it to him. He's a good kid. Some days. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. Oh, oh, oh snow. <laughs> Good enough for the girls I have to go with. All right, let's see. Do I want to play a little bit more, or do we want to? You know what I need? <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit crazy. Oh, let's see here. Let's... I think that's looking all right. Ooh, the snow. Let's kind of clear this up a little bit. That one stuck. That one got stuck. That one didn't. Mostly because I never even did anything with it. I suppose I'm just gonna just clean this up real quick before I get too many complaints. Snow plow ain't gonna be coming through because 
Look at these roads, man. Roads. Roads. That's a kind of a funny word if you think about it. Tommy boy. <laughs> Oh my god, we're stoned! <laughs> That's when the horrors come in. Alright. I'm going to take a brief commercial intermission. And I will be back. Alright. Had to grab some sustenance. Don't worry, y'all. I'm a trained professional. I what? I don't know. Where was my training? Oh. <laughs> Good question. To the best of my knowledge, I didn't have any. Culinary Academy. It's a great Jared Allen would say. Culinary. or snow, but this ain't nothing compared to what Duluth got a few weeks ago. That was insane! Or as I like to say, cray cray. I really don't like to say that. I just, I do like to say it because it makes some people I know want to smack me. <laughs> oh, you know, you know how that goes. Not that I'm into that, but I mean, driving people crazy I'm a little into, but get smacked not so much. <laughs> Row, row, row your boat. I do think I'm gonna implement a skid steer one of these days to clean up some of this more. There's so much I can do, I think, with this little arrow with that snow plow. Well, being warm and whatever else, mankind has got to know his limitations. Now, I don't like this anymore than you do. Then you get what we got here last week, which is the way he wants. Well, he gets. Look at you. Sorry, I just, just, just want to turn the radio on instead of uh, for hopeless in the hand. Got stuck, Chuck. Not that <laughs> How many times today?
and snow just rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Don't worry, I can edit that out. I don't know what the hell they are. Just back there in the snow bank. That gum, that gum, huh? And ring in the new year with fun activities, animal encounters, and the countdown to the new year every hour. Plus, they get to enjoy free carousel rides and don't forget a snow pants stand. Explore the zoo, ring in the new year, and have some free family fun at the Red River Zoo from 1 to 5 on New Year's Eve. Sickies Garage. 50 Sickies Garage. I get it. You feel like a schmuck at the drive-thru because those prices sure don't feel like a value. That's why Sickies wants you to come sit and chill on your lunch break for fast service and fresh new choices and the seemingly endless variety that keeps you coming back. A full meal with side and soda, only $6.99. You'll finally know what value is. Every weekday until 3 p.m. at Sickies. Sickies Garage. 50 burgers. Looks like we might be starting to get a little bit more precipitation. The spirit shops put in the spirits in your yeah, party for over long. 40 uh, years. Holiday celebrations with family and friends are just about here. So make sure you have the perfect wine from the Spirit Shop. Right now, Moscato wines are just $8.99 and 1.5 liter barefoot wines are $7.99. Or for after dinner, Bailey's Irish Cream 750s is just $22.99. Plus, get a free gift bag and bow with purchase for your celebrations and for well, gift giving. Happy holidays from the Spirit Shop. Spread them pretty thin oh, if you get more on our customers.
through this is probably boring. I thought it was kind of interesting. At least the first part of it. The first 10 minutes might have been alright. I'm going to stop now.